Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you an FC24 Jude Bellingham Trailblazers player review. 88 rated central midfielder. This guy seems to get good cards <laughs> already. 6 foot 1, high high in the work rates. 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, controlled, right footed. The stats on that card look just ridiculous and I think if you've seen any of my videos about Bellingham, my team of the week review on Bellingham, you know that I think that he moves like a different sort of player than anyone else. He has no alternative positions, only the CM there, um, but I don't think that's going to matter to be honest. He'll be over all over the place anyway. 79 pace, not bad at all. 79 is fine for a central midfielder. 80 shooting, I think he should be better than 80 shooting based on his real life performances as of late. 92 finish and 84 attack position and probably the standouts there. 81 passing with 89 short pass, 88 long pass. It is just a free kick accuracy that's bringing that down. I expect that that card will feel a lot better as far as passing goes in the actual game. 87 dribbling with 88 reactions, 87 ball control, 88 dribbling. It's just mind blowing to be honest. The stats that this guy has got there as far as dribbling goes. 80 defending as well with 79 defensive awareness, 81 standing tackle, 84 physical, 95 stamina. Exactly what you're wanting for a player that is going to be going back and forward um, to the bottom. Boxes. He's got six play styles, finesse shot, incisive pass, intercept, flare, play style plus on the technical and relentless. All right, so very, very excited to get into it with Jude. There he is straight away on the ball, uh, making a good run on the right-hand side there. So we've got him playing in the middle, uh, pretty much just, I want him to free roam, to be honest, with those stats that he's got. And I reviewed his team of the week, and his team of the week was just insane. And his, the stats weren't even that great for the team of the week. But for some reason, with the Bellingham card, it just felt different. It felt different to any other card that I've used. And uh, I'm hoping that that continues here with the increased stats as well, because this card will be something special if that is the case. Um, so hopefully we can get him into the game as much as possible um, as I said got him in the middle um, and uh, yeah we're, we're going to try and find him as often as we possibly can with a player like that you want to get him on the ball as much as you can there he is just sort of chilling um, not really doing an awful lot there oh there we go gets the ball and uh, a decent pass out to Mallard not you know there wasn't really anything on um, that was gonna I don't know couldn't really do an awful lot with that to be honest um, there he is what a tackle can he win it back look at that just using his strength there good tackle didn't quite win it but we forced the press and uh, and now we've won it back oh lost it again <laughs> but Bellingham did his job there he won it well sort of won the ball he forced him back and then we won it through that um, where is Bellingham let's try and get him in he's just sitting back there a little bit we want to try and get him forward he's making a good run actually into the middle I could have maybe passed it over but there was a guaranteed goal there and now that takes the pressure because we have got the 1-0 um, in the bag, uh, but Bellingham was making a good run on the other side, I could have maybe have passed it over, and he might have got the goal, uh, but I'm not 100% sure um, about that, to be honest, it was quite a tight <laughs> a tight pass to make, I don't know if Malar's passing would have quite held up, um, he almost instantly scores there, uh, which would not have been great for me, um, to be honest, because I like having this 1-0 cushion, so I can really start playing it to the feet of the player that we are reviewing, um, I what a ball that is, what a run that is as well. Look at that touch from Bellingham, his pace is looking fantastic. And that is a great, great, great goal. Left-footed strike into the top of the net. Wonderful goal from Bellingham. What a pass that was over the top. He was making a fantastic run. Brilliant touch as well. And uh, put him straight through, open at the net. And uh, he puts it past the goalkeeper. 1-0, a 2-0, sorry, 2-0. And uh, Bellingham getting the second one there. Fantastic play. Very, very happy with that. As I said, this player just feels different. I don't know what it is about the card. Uh, it just feels so much different from any other card that I've used on EAFC 24 so far um, really enjoying it better than well I'm not going to say better than the team of the week this is actually the very first game that I actually play with him um, play about four or five games with every player as I always say in these videos just to sort of make sure that we get uh, the best out of them before giving the overall final verdicts which will come after this gameplay section um, I like doing that fake tease always gets everyone they always switch up to another player and then, to be honest, the fake tease was probably the best bit about that because that throw was terrible and it's pretty much giving it straight back to Madison. Good goalkeeping, rushing out there. Um, we couldn't find, I couldn't find Bellingham. He's sort of, he's just sitting over there at the moment. I want to try and get him in a little bit more. Um, there we go. We can probably get him in. I don't know. He's, he's drifted out wide there. I'm playing the 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. Um, might have been too many twos there. Um, so he is playing like the right centre attack in mid and he does seem to be drifting a little bit out wide. He's come in there, got the goal anyway. He was there for the rebound this guy's going to quit so I'm going to leave the gameplay section there let's get back into the in-game stats see how we got in, in the other games and then I'll give my overall verdict it's an expensive expensive player so he better have been good what a goal he scored there let's see how we get on 
right, so you've just seen Jude in action there, my glowing, glowing review of him um, in game. I mean, he's cost an absolute fortune, so what you're getting here is a, a player that is worth an absolute fortune. It's just whether you've got the coins to get him because he is ridiculous. But anyway, 79 pace felt better than that. I think it's more like 82, 83. I think I said that about his team of the week card as well. I think that his pace definitely feels better than what the card suggests. 80 shooting probably feels about right. I didn't have that many chances at goal with him. Um, 80 will leave that. 81 passing, absolutely not. I'm going for like an 85, 86. His passing felt really good. His vision was fantastic. Through balls were brilliant. 86 passing. 87 dribbling, again, increase. He moves like a different player to anyone else that I I've used. I'm going for an 88, 89 for the dribbling. 80 defending probably feels about right. You could argue an increase because of the standing tackle being pretty good, but I'll leave it at 80. Physical at nine, uh, 84, sorry, 94 is more like it. Now we'll bring it up to an 86. His physical felt good. His strength was, was solid. Everything about this card is just fantastic. He's a Rolls Royce. If you can afford to get him, you need him in your team. Absolutely fantastic. Fun to play with, joy to play with. It's just whether you can get him. He is worth the money, but it's a, a you know it's one of the tie and uh, cards at this point. So hopefully you did like the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below, full of FC24 player reviews as well. So guys, thank you for watching.